Okay, I'm going to go over how to change uh, effects to a source clip instead of the uh, clip in the timeline. So I uh, here have a, a mixture of side-by-side -side and up and down videos. Uh, I want to start with my project. Uh, this is going to be a short, so I, put, I drop in an up and down clip and that all looks good right there. And next thing I want to do is change my um, the name of my sequence here is uh, steak. Okay. Okay. So now I got my my new uh, sequence here, and this is an up and down 4K clip. But the problem is uh, I have some of my clips are sideways by mistake, and so I want to convert those to so I can either bring them into the timeline like this and then uh, go over here in effects and controls and, and change the rotation over here and that would change it okay but I don't want to do that I want to change the actual source clip the actual clip right here in the source panel I want to rotate it there but if I hit click in the source panel make sure only this is highlighted nothing's highlighted down here I want to um, go to my source panel go to effects controls Oops, that's, see that's highlighting that. I don't want that. I want to go over here and highlight this source clip in the source panel. And now I'm clicked on source. Now we hit effects controls and there's nothing there because the source does not have effects into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a clip here and I'm going to go transform. And I'm going to grab transform and bring it right into here. So this is the way it looks like right here, right? But watch, we're going to put this in here. We're going to go to put this to 270 rotation. And now when we go back over here, you'll see it's been rotated. It's an up and down and it's fitting it. It's the best way that it can. Okay. So if I drag this down into my timeline now, which is an up and down timeline. It puts it in and it's in the correct orientation, but the size is wrong. So now I have to go over and highlight this, highlight effects controls, and now I put 100 and now it fills the screen. So we got this clip right here. We're gonna go over to the source panel, click on the source, and right now in, on the source, there's no effects. There's no lumetry color and there's no transform. But let's say once we wanna add lumetry color over here so that when we when we we can change it in the source so all the sources will all be changed so what we do is we again grab our effects controls and this time we try to do lumetry color and we take lumetry color and we drag lumetry color over there so now we have all of our lumetry color controls um, right in here we can do all, all the stuff we want to limit your color. We can do it now to the source clip. So we just highlight this over here. So then when we do it, we do it all to the source clip. So if we want to change the tint, let's say I do it crazy. Let's see if it goes and changes this clip now. See, it changed even in the time because I changed the source clip. Right? Now if you come in here, you'll see this little red Linary that means that the clip has been changed at the source not at the timeline level So if I wanted to change that back, I actually go back to the source See if I go into if I, if I look at color um, Over here if I go over color And I look at that clip in the color it says the color hasn't been changed that's because uh, let's go back over to two screen. That's because I changed the color over here in this clip right here, and it's 174. If I change that back to normal, the clip in the timeline also changes because I've changed the source. So there's two ways to change it. One, just go over here and add the effects that you want to the source clip, or uh, with color, you can um, highlight it over here in color go to the color panel oh, where's color go to the color panel and that way you have access to both the source and the uh, the program clip 
but I want to change the uh, source clip color not just that so I can click it right over here here's our our clip in the timeline but I want to change the source clip here so we can hit auto here now it's changed it in the source clip let's just do something crazy so you can really see it here let's go tint change it make it like crazy okay so we can see that we've changed it but if you look at it when I when I scroll back and forth here we look at it in the in the um, in the program manager program screen and this is highlight it's not showing any color changes because I've changed it in the source clip not in the program clip so if I wanted to change that back I can just either just hit auto again oops I have to hit hit here and then hit auto changes it back to normal so even though this is in my timeline because I changed it in the source clip it's all good so let's uh, let's reset this in and there but it's still changed here you get it so if I change this again in here when I go and scroll in here it's back green again okay I hope that wasn't too confusing